Gravidosa punctulata is also known as the dotted wolf spider. It is in the family Lycosidae, which includes all 2,300 species of wolf spider. The dotted wolf spider is found in the southeastern United States and prefers to live in edge communities around grass fields in the warmer months. Dotted wolf spiders have excellent eyesight and hunting skills, hence the name wolf spider. They ambush small prey such as crickets, insect larvae, and even other spiders. They use their fangs to inject venom into their prey and paralyze it. Dotted wolf spiders get their name from the black spots on the underside of their abdomen. They are also identified by the dark stripes on their dorsal surface. They have eight eyes, two of which are large and reflective, which helps them to hunt at night. Female dotted wolf spiders average 15 millimeters in length, as seen here on the left. The smaller males, seen on the right, average 12 millimeters in length. I'm Dr. George Oates. Uh, I'm a professor at the University of Cincinnati and now head of the Department of Biological Sciences. I have a background in behavioral ecology. I study uh, animal communication, particularly with spiders. Multiple sensory modes that spiders use to recognize mates and uh, communicate. I'm especially interested in how that how that evolves as a consequence of both the physical environment and the biological environment. And I'm Alex Swigger. I'm a PhD student at the University of Cincinnati working with George Oates. And a lot of my interests are similar in terms of ecology and communication, and how the social and physical environment affects wolf spiders. So how they utilize vibration and in some cases airborne sound to communicate with one another. Males communicate with females when they are ready to mate by tapping their pedipalps. During courtship, the female produces a silk string known as a drag line. The drag line is scented with her pheromones to attract a mate. When the male finds the female's drag line, he plucks it and follows it to her location. To attract the female, the male uses his abdomen, pedipalps, and legs to perform a courtship dance. Each male spider has his own unique courtship dance, much like a bird song. The female signals her interest or disinterest in the male. Disinterest is easy, she may attack him. Uh, some wolf spiders, like Schizocosa, uh, have receptivity displays. Uh, Schizocosa creata females uh, have a number of behaviors that we, we know are followed frequently by copulation. Pre-sexual cannibalism occurs in some wolf spider species. It tends to go with dimorphism, so the difference between the size of the females and males. And in a lot of larger species, like Rabidosa punctulata, are probably 20-25%. And there are even some spiders, not wolf spiders, that where it's almost obligate, where pretty much 99% of males will be cannibalized as part of the mating process. So it varies pretty heavily depending on what species you're talking about. During copulation, the male mounts the female facing opposite directions. The male uses his palps to transfer sperm packets into the female's epigynum. She rotates her abdomen repeatedly to open both sides of her epigynum. Sexual selection and female mate choice have shaped evolution. A female's choice in mate determines the fitness of the next generation. Males have to go to extraordinary lengths to attract a mate. And you might even say male wolf spiders have to put their best foot forward.